If you want rainbow, you have to deal with the rain. I found Rome a city of bricks and left it a city of marble. Practice, the master of all things. Have I played the part well? Then applaud as I exit. We write our names in the sand, and then the waves roll in and wash them away. By marrying too soon, many individuals sacrifice their chance to struggle through this purgatory of solitude and search toward a greater sense of self-confidence. They glance at the world outside the family and with hardly a second thought grasp anxiously for a partner. In marriage they seek a substitute for the security of the family of origin and an escape from aloneness. What they do not realize is that moving so quickly from one family to another, they make it easy to transfer to the new marriage all their difficult experiences in the family of origin. Young men, listen to an old man to whom old men listened when he was young. The tales of our exploits will survive as long as the human voice itself. The greatest impediments to changes in our traditional roles seem to lie not in the visible world of conscious intent, but in the murky realm of the unconscious mind. What is done well is done quickly enough. If we could survive without a wife, citizens of Rome, all of us would do without that nuisance. Make haste cautiously. At the age of 19, on my own initiative and at my own expense, I raised an army by means of which I restored liberty to the Republic, which had been oppressed by the tyranny of a faction. For which service the Senate, with complimentary resolutions, enrolled me in its order. Better a cautious commander, and not a rash one. I am a man of my word. I'd always thought the world was a wish-granting factory. Behold them, conquerors of the world, the toga-clad race of Romans. May it be my privilege to have the happiness of establishing the commonwealth on a firm and secure basis and thus enjoy the reward which I desire but only if I may be called the author of the best possible government, and bear with me the hope when I die that the foundations which I have laid for its future government, will stand firm and stable. Quintilius Verus, give me back my legions. If we could survive without a wife, citizens of Rome, all of us would do without that nuisance, but since nature has so decreed that we cannot manage comfortably with them, nor live in any way without them, we must plan for our lasting preservation rather than for our temporary pleasure. If I have played my part well, clap your hands, and dismiss me with applause from the stage. Everyone wants to lead an extraordinary life. You cheer my heart, who build as if Rome would be eternal. Nothing common can seem worthy of you. Just as men must give up economic control when their wives share the responsibility for the family's financial well-being, women must give up exclusive parental control when their husbands assume more responsibility for childcare. He learned that Alexander, having completed nearly all his conquests by the time he was 32 years old, was at an utter loss to know what he should do during the rest of his life, whereat Augustus expressed his surprise that Alexander did not regard it as a greater task to set in order the empire which he had won than to win it. After this time I surpassed all others in authority, but I had no more power than the others who were also my colleagues in office. 
I came to see a king, not a row of corpses. To seek to keep the established constitution unchanged argues a good citizen and a good man. I had a good mind to discontinue permanently the supply of grain to the city, reliance on which had discouraged Italian agriculture, but refrained because some politician would be bound one day to revive the dole as a means of ingratiating himself with the people. Did I play my role well? If so, then applause, because the comedy is finished. Only that which is well done is quickly done. Keep our marriage alive, and farewell.